All right, this is from my user profile, uh, Smashwords, and uh, I guess probably other sites, uh, writing sites in which I can upload a uh, user profile video. And uh, I feel weird doing this. Uh, it's like a dating video. It's like, tell us about yourself. Like, well, I like to write, and um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what what's relevant for me to tell you? That's a good question. Uh, I used to read all the time as a kid. Uh, I was reading at a college level in fifth grade, so I was just just tanking through novels. Um, you know, nothing uh, nothing world shattering. Uh, I liked a lot of Star Trek novels, uh, Michael Crichton uh, type uh, science fiction and, and fantasy, and uh, every once in a while, I'll pick up an autobiography on on somebody that's uh, you know entertaining. Um, Jay Leno. Uh, William Shatner, um, Ty Cobb, uh, stuff like that, um, and I watch a ton of movies. Uh, I'm one of those people that still uh, rents movies from an actual video store uh, because I'm uh, stuck in 1995, and I probably watch uh, 100 to 150 new movies a year, uh, so I feel like I've always got ideas pouring in uh, from a whole bunch of different places. Um, I guess the big question is, what do I like to write about, and uh, what is my writing style? Uh, that's that's two questions, isn't it? Uh, well, I like to write about a variety of things. Uh, I like a variety of things, uh, so I like to write about them. Uh, I stick mainly with uh, fantasy type fiction. Uh, I, I think it's more fun to write about things that can't actually happen. Uh, if I want to experience things that, that could actually happen, I think I'd probably just go out and do them instead of writing about them. Um, so, uh, yeah, vampires and dystopian uh, future science fiction novels and romance novels and novels that have characters with superpowers or uh, mind reading or a whole, a whole bunch of things. Um, there's, there's. I really tried not to pigeonhole myself. In fact, I probably do the opposite. Uh, I, I don't really ever write about the same thing twice. I haven't written <laughs> anything in the same genre twice yet. So, uh, yeah. Um, second part of that question, which I've actually already forgotten, uh, my writing style. Right. Uh, I like to focus on characters. I. I've kind of grown up watching Joss Whedon's uh, Firefly and Buffy and Angel and Dollhouse, and that's he always focuses on the characters more so than the story, story and lets the characters drive the story, which is what I try to do. Uh, I always say that I never get writer's block because it's it's always easy to think about the character and like, well, what would this character do next? Uh, they would do this rather than getting caught up in, in plot details and, or getting stuck uh, writing myself into a corner uh, in an outline. Uh, so I follow my characters. I, I like characters that are very hard to pin down. I like uh, good characters that have a little bit of an edge or are a little insidious. I like bad characters, that evil characters that might have a little bit of a heart of gold. Uh, uh, I like characters that are unpredictable, um, maybe even a little bit crazy, and uh, I like to just kind of throw them together and let them bounce off each other, and uh, most of the time I, I feel like they're telling the story uh, so much more than, than I am, and I'm just kind of watching them and recording it. Um, what else can I talk about here? Uh, hopefully not a lot, cause I, I know I'm not too entertaining to watch or listen to. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about what I've written uh, so far and where I went with that. Uh, it all started in 10th grade. I'd gotten crap grades in English up until 9th grade. Uh, and all of a sudden, I was a really good writer, and which obviously isn't true, but uh, I had a teacher that encouraged the kind of writing that I was good at rather than the you know, write 500 words about Shakespeare type of writing that, that never really sat well with me. Uh, so 
Uh, after that year, I started writing a lot, uh, mainly poetry, but uh, goofing around with friends one day in 10th grade, uh, we were joking about uh, practical jokes in office buildings, uh, office space type stuff, and uh, I was like, that, that sounds like a good story. Uh, so I wrote my first short story called Cube Wars. Uh, which is about a uh, war that takes place in an office building. And it grew into uh, like a 15-part series of 120,000 words or, or something like that. And you know, that was my first real uh, novel. And then after that, uh, I, I took another short story, or maybe not even a short story, but like a remnant of a chapter, and uh, turned that into uh, a vampire novel about a year and a half ago. So that's two for uh, those counting at home. And uh, while reading parts of that novel and, and listening to uh, other people's work at, at one of my writer's workshops, uh, I started to think about where medical technology and uh, computer technology might be headed. And with our ability to record so much of ourselves and put so much of ourselves on the Internet, and on our computers, you know, like this video, uh, it didn't seem like a stretch to me that we might someday be able to actually plug ourselves into a computer and just download everything up here into, well, like a flash drive equivalent, and uh, then when we die, uh, re-upload that consciousness into a new body and achieve a certain immortality. Uh, so I had the idea for this dystopian world where death has been outlawed, uh, these, these consciousness uploads are mandatory. Uh, when someone dies, their most recent upload is put into a cloned and cryogenically frozen body, and uh, they continue living on. And uh, as much of uh, a utopia as eternal life seems, there's, there's a guy, Arnett Tanner, that sees through it, and he just wants to die. He, he's had enough of it. And uh, obviously the government won't let him, and uh, the story follows uh, his quest to kill himself, uh, which I thought was interesting. Um, I like things like that. I like taking a, a trait that, that's typically seen as undesirable and getting uh, people to not only identify with that trait, but sympathize with the character and root for that trait. And uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting. I was, I was thinking... You know, can I not only get people to like this character, but root for him to die and then be happy when he dies? Because that's it's it's so rare that you read a book and a character dies and you feel a, a sense of accomplishment for that character. Uh, so that that was my thought right now. That's finished. That'll be uh that'll be uploaded shortly. Uh, I, I probably need to edit it maybe one or two more times just to make sure everything fits together, and uh, that'll be all set. Ah, uh, that was number three. <laughs> Sometime while writing that, I was laying down to sleep one night, and a word just popped into my head, uh, skankarella. I don't know why, some, some sort of an insult, something like that. And uh, I started to think of what might lead anybody to call someone skankarella, and, and the obvious parallel there is, is to the, the Cinderella fairy tale. And so I got this idea uh, for this this girl, this Cinderella type girl that's hated on and abused by her family uh, because she's she's different. She's unique. She's uh, skanky in that she maybe dresses a little bit like a goth or something like that. And uh, when I started outlining the book, I, I thought that it would be even better if uh, she was skanky because uh, she was a lesbian and uh, she was abused because her, her step family was really religious and the story just, just grew out of that and it, it became sort of a dual story because if you watch the actual Cinderella fairy tale uh, Cinderella and the prince aren't so different as characters. Uh, the prince is is also kind of dominated by the will uh, of his father, the, the Duke or whatever, uh, you know, wanting him to, to get married and 
he, he's actually kind of a non-character in the Disney version. I don't think he has a single line, and he's just kind of this image of, you know, everything a girl should want. And I, I wanted so much more than that in my Prince character. Um, and, and so I, I, I wrote about that, that duality, and there's, there's kind of a parallel between Skankerella and her female Prince uh, in the story. And uh, that's also finished and uh, waiting for another editor, too. And that should be up shortly. Uh, the novel I'm working on now is uh, it's called Kissing Ellen King. And it's a little harder to describe. Uh, I, all I can really do is just kind of give you a synopsis of the story. Uh, we start with a, kind of a, a log or a diary of the main character, Jack Chandler, uh, who we find out is a registered sex offender. And uh, as we delve into his history, uh, we start to find out the reason that he, he's a registered sex offender. Uh, that being because uh, he, he was in a relationship uh, with a young girl uh, as a teenager, um, so, so not a huge age difference, and uh, ended up having uh, a few accusations unfairly lobbed at him, and, and because of that, uh, he, he has to live you know, the life of, of a registered sex offender, of people thinking that he's He's a pedophile and this horrible person when really he was just as much of a, a child at the time as the, the girl that he committed his crime with. And uh, kind of like Arnett Tanner, I wanted the reader to sympathize with a character that you would think would be, uh, making up a word here, unsympathizable with. Um, I, I wanted to, to make the audience feel sorry for the sex offender and, and see... Uh, partially see the problem with, with the sex offender registry, which is a whole different issue. Um, but I, I wanted to explore that a little bit in this book, and uh, it's uh, probably about halfway done. I, I, I might be over 30,000 words into it now. I, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to end either, which is completely normal. I never know how anything's going to end. Uh, I don't figure that out. That's not my job. That's my character's job to figure that out. I just write about it. Uh, so uh, I'm working on that now. I probably actually should be working on it right now, like this very second, but uh, I'm not. Uh, sue me. And uh, beyond that, uh, i got a couple other ideas that I want to work on. Uh, Cube Wars, uh, the, my first novel, which I mentioned, like, probably right about when most people stop uh, watching this. Uh, I'd like to actually do a reboot of it. I mean, honestly, I wrote the damn thing in 10th grade. It's really not very good. Uh, now, I've actually had experience working in an office building, and I want to uh, use those experiences uh, in the story and uh, make it a little better and also give it a little bit more realistic touch, uh, basing it on something that's actually happened. So, yeah, I've tried talk for like 12 minutes now. Uh, nobody cares anymore. Like, the only person that's going to watch this is, like, my mom and my girlfriend. Uh, so, uh, I will stop now. You can find my contact info uh, a lot of places. My Twitter and instant messaging and Yahoo names are all the same as this one. So, if you have made it this far, congratulations. And if you want to talk to me, uh, you know where to find me. Uh, that's creepy. Maybe maybe that'll be my next story. How I posted a YouTube video and then got killed by a stalker um, before I was famous enough to actually have stalkers. Um, I'll keep you posted on that one. <laughs>